All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the... car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z and... Um, Doc, shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? Doc? Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Doc! Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Marty? 
Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare.、Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now, back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc's stuff. The city has no right Now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. Nah, I guess I'm just remembering. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff,、uh, can can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Come on, I saw it first. Eh, I guess you're right, but I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me. Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Why does my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Let's make some noise.
Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Uh, oh, uh, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. He's dead. About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Whoa! Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Uh, Doc, where are you? Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! 